Sonic the Hedgehog 2 redefines the way that a video game movie adaptation should be done. Hey what's up everyone, it's 719 Inkling here and today I am going to review the Sonic the Hedgehog 2 movie. So let's begin. I watched Sonic 2 on April 7 and let me tell you, this movie was incredible! But while I love this movie for my bias for being a Sonic fan, that doesn't mean this movie was perfect. And hey, that's just fine. This movie takes what the first movie established and uses that as the base for telling a compelling story for a blue hero. While it fixes things that the first movie got wrong, like the balance between the human scenes and the focus on Sonic, it still has some of those hit the kids kind of moments. And hey, while I cringe out at that stuff, I can understand that yeah, a huge part of Sonic's demographic is kids, but hey, that does not ruin the movie for me at all. Another negative thing before I get to the good stuff I adore about this movie. There was two scenes I wasn't a fan of in this movie, specifically the second half of the wedding scene and the bar in Sibir Sibir Syria. Sib how do you spell Siberia? Siberia? Oh. Anyways, what those scenes didn't do for me is that they lasted way too long, and the wedding scene could have been way shorter, and it still could have provided enough for the plot. No, shut up, you fake credits, you with your dumb. There wasn't enough time to cap in the movie. Where, where is so much Sonic? Dude, go watch something else. If you're having a problem with the main character of the movie, and you want a supporting character in a Sonic the Hedgehog movie to have more scenes than the character in the title of the movie. <sighs> oh yeah, the bar scene was fine, it was just way too long, seriously. Wait, Siberia is not a country? It's a city in Russia? I have failed you freshman year world history. L let's move on. Now, this is heavy spoiler territory, so get out of here if you haven't watched the movie, which it's been like, it's been like two weeks already, I think. And if you are not doing so, go watch this movie! This is peak Sonic, seriously, please go watch it, you will enjoy it. And now, what I love about this movie. Okay, speed, I am speed. Oh my god, Knuckles is so cool, he acts so serious about everything despite it not being serious thing. Curling that still sounds so real to hear in a cinematic movie and I am proud of her, the Master Emo is a thing. They took elements from the Sonic Adventure 1 with Knuckles backstory and I'm all for it. Dude, Sonic breaks a bubble! He breaks a bubble, you hear me? That freaking labyrinth on one reference with a level design. Sonic does the Sonic Adventure 1 boxer pose. The Deathed Robot do the Deathed Robot. Bro, Super Sonic. I can with this movie. It's amazing. Phew. Uh, so what was I saying? Oh, yeah. The third act of the movie felt like the tension of a final boss in a Sonic game, but times 20. They made the Deathed Robot like a hundred times its original size. Not even the Generations variant can top this, but uh, uh, I guess the one from Sonic Forces are the accurate size. <sighs> Sonic Frontiers, where, where are you? So, I was having the field day watching this entire part of the movie, and once I saw Sonic getting beat down and left with almost no energy, I had a feeling of what was coming. And once Tom and Maddie helped out Sonic to get the Master Emerald, a bit of a lore change happened. The Master Emerald broke into pieces, and inside were the Seven Chaos Emeralds, which in our knowledge of the lore from the games, we knew that the Master Emerald was owned by the Kidna Clan, tribe, you know, but did not know that they forced it. And also, the Master Emerald and the Chaos Emeralds were already separated in the games, so in a way, this kind of makes sense since the Master Emerald has the ability to control the Chaos Emeralds and turn off their power by command by Knuckles. So, the Chaos Emeralds were inside the Master Emerald, and at the last moment, Sonic, without noticing, absorbed the Emeralds and transformed into the amazing Super Sonic! I was stoked with this part of the movie. Sonic's whole personality had changed to be serious. It heavily reminded me of when Sonic transformed into Super Sonic in Sonic X. Such an epic moment! Super Sonic freaks the crap out of the Deathed Robot, does 
the finishing touches by doing the foot thing from Sonic 06. Nice reference there. And then Dr. Gatman is no more? Question mark? Then after this whole scene, the Chaos Emeralds now became separate from the Master Emerald. And all is good now. We get a last scene with our heroes playing baseball and Knuckles being Knuckles, <laughs> taking everything seriously of course. We get a scene with Sonic and Tom that I thought was pretty nice. At the beginning of the movie, Sonic was trying to act like a hero and do things in secret at night. When Tom calls him out on it, Sonic tells him to act like his friend and stop acting like his dad. Well, at this end scene, Sonic calls Tom dad and I almost teared up. This was such a wholesome scene and shows how Sonic has matured a bit throughout the adventure of this movie and has learned important lessons. And once you thought the movie was over, we get a post credit scene where the Gun organization is going through some old files from Edmund dating back 50 years. And what's the only thing in the Sonic lore that has to do with 50 years? Mother freaking Shadow the Hedgehog! Yo! Sonic 3 is gonna be so good. It's funny how Shadow looks like the fan made mock ups. But that's how we all expected him to look, honestly. So, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, while it's way better than the original, that does not mean that it is a perfect movie. And I can overlook all those minor things that don't make it a perfect film. But, this movie is truly amazing, not only for Sonic fans, but for anyone who said those stupid credits. Seriously, what, what were you thinking? Sonic the Hedgehog 2 gets a whopping 8.5 out of 10 for me. Man, I love this franchise. Hey, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it if you made it this far. You should check out this Sonic G Fuel review I did. It's kinda... Go find out for yourself. And check out this other video if you want something else. So, thank you for watching and remember to always, and I mean always, stay fresh!